We're excited to tell you about new research from the Penn State Motivation Lab that we will present at the 2013 Society of Behavioral Medicine meeting in San Francisco. Simple everyday decisions contribute to the problems of insufficient activity and excessive inactivity. We make regular choices about whether to stand or sit while reading or watching television, whether to take the stairs or take the elevator, and whether to ride a bus or walk to campus. Individually, none of these choices have dramatic health consequences, but over time they accumulate to impact our health. Recent work from our lab and others around the world suggests that people's automatic evaluations of physical activity influence their behavior, and we believe similar processes may underlie sedentary behavior. For this study, we designed an experiment to create automatic affective associations that would increase physical activity and decrease sitting time. The intervention we used involves a technique called evaluative conditioning. We recruited 111 college students and randomly assigned them to groups in a 2x2 two two experimental design with factors involving evaluative conditioning for physical activity and sedentary behavior. Participants who engaged in evaluative conditioning for physical activity reported a significant increase in activity in the week after the procedure, but there was no effect of evaluative conditioning on sedentary behavior. Come visit us during the poster session on March 22nd to learn about this intervention, why we think it worked selectively for physical activity but not sedentary behavior, and where we're taking this research next. Also, check us out online or on Twitter. Thanks for watching.